In this video, we're going to be looking at using a graph of a quadratic function to find its roots, y-intercept, and turning point. In this particular example, the quadratic function we're working with is x squared plus 4x minus 12. Notice that is just the right-hand side of this equation. The graph we're working with is the graph of y equals x squared plus 4x minus 12, and that gives us this curve that we see here. Now let's answer these questions, starting with the easiest part, the y-intercept. You've come across y-intercepts before when you looked at straight line graphs. The y-intercept tells us where the line or curve crosses the y-axis, and in this case it crosses the y-axis at negative 12. Notice we just want the number, we want the y-coordinate, negative 12. We don't want to write down the actual coordinates of the point, which would be 0, negative 12. That's the coordinates of the point. We don't want that. We just want the y-coordinate. So we found our y-intercept. I'll colour code that in green. Let's now find the turning point. Now, a turning point is a point on a curve where the gradient on one side is positive and the gradient on the other side is negative. And for this curve, you can see that the turning point is right here. To the left of that turning point, you can see we have a negative gradient. The curve is going down. And then to the right of that turning point, you can see we have a positive gradient. You can see the curve going up. Now for a turning point, what we're actually looking for is the coordinates of the point. So we have negative 2, negative 16 as our turning point. I'll just colour code this in red to match the diagram. And we can now move on to roots. Let's go back to our function. We have the function x squared plus 4x minus 12. That is a quadratic function in x. The roots of that function are simply the values of x that make this equal 0. What possible values of x do we need to substitute into here and here so that this gives us an output of 0? Well, the answers are simply the x-intercepts of the curve. It's where the curve crosses the x-axis. And you can see that happens at negative 6 and 2. So our roots are simply negative 6 and 2. We can test this for ourselves. Let's take 2. When x is 2, if you substitute that into here, you'll see we get 2 squared, which is 4. Then we need to add on 4 times 2, so that's 8. And then we need to subtract 12. 4 plus 8 minus 12, that gives us 0. And that meets the definition of a root. Remember, when you substitute a root into a function, you get 0. Also, notice how this fits in with what we understand about plotting graphs. Remember, this is the graph of y equals x squared plus 4x minus 12. And when we substitute 2 into here, we get a y value of 0. So that tells us that 2, 0 is a point on the curve. When x is 2, y is 0. It's important to note, just like with the y-intercept, however, that when we're looking for a root or an x-intercept, we don't want to write down the coordinates of that point. We just want to write down the x-value, the x-coordinate, which is 2. If you like, you can also pause the video and check for yourself that when you substitute x equals negative 6 into here, you still get 0. So, to summarise, we have our y-intercept here, that's negative 12, that is where the curve crosses the y-axis. We have our turning point down here, that is where the gradient is positive on one side and negative on the other. In this case, we've got the negative gradient on the left and the positive gradient on the right. Finally, we had our roots, and those are simply the places where the curve meets the x-axis.